Welcome to another exciting kind of story thing, except this is kind of a choose your own adventure thing, and there are about seven ways that this can possibly end. This is text, a summer story made by Sake Visual, same one who did Ripples. So, how's about let's just jump right in, eh? Oh no, I'd better not miss the train. I spent forever trying to convince Mom to let me travel alone. If I get stranded, she'll never let me out of her sight again. I shouldn't have overslept. Ooh, I can't believe I made it. <laughs> Looks like I can handle myself after all. Mmm, new message. Ugh, seriously, Mom? I'll be meeting Uncle at the shrine, so it's not like I'm going to be alone anyway. Oh well, I guess that's just how Mom is. This train is actually pretty nice. I've never been on one of these before. I'm only used to taking the ones to school, but these big ones that go across Japan are much nicer. And emptier. I guess that's not really the season for visiting shrines right now. <laughs> I'm sure that makes Uncle's job as caretaker a lot easier. At least I got a whole train car to myself for three hours. Mmm, my neck feels funny. These chairs aren't very comfortable after so much sitting. Another message? Oh, Mom, please just let me go. Oops, this is my stop. Mm, it feels so good to stretch after sitting down in that train for so long. Fresh air is nice too. It smells like the ocean. That should make her happy. I'm pretty sure that the ferry ride isn't going to be too long. I should text Uncle and let him know that I'm going to be at the shrine soon. I hope he gets it. Last I remember, he wasn't very good with technology. Oh, that was quick. I guess I didn't have to worry after all. What? What's going on? Oh no, I got the wrong number. This is so embarrassing. I should probably apologize. I hope he doesn't think I'm a total idiot. How did he know about Uncle? Ha! That sounds like Uncle. He hardly used his phone anyway. He probably forgot that we even had his number. He didn't? Hmm. I guess Mom tried calling in a different phone then. Maybe a landline? Oh, I'm at the island already. That was faster than I expected. The shrine shouldn't be too hard to find. It's the only thing on the island, after all. Yup, not hard to find. I can't believe Uncle lives here alone. It just seems like an awfully big place for just one person. I know that. I'm just telling you what I see. Uncle really does look a lot older than before. <sighs> Hopefully that will pacify her. Why am I so worn out anyway? All I did was sit around most of the day. Hmm, I don't see a place to charge my phone. How's about we... Let's leave it on. Choose, pick this one. Hello. Oh, leave that one. Oh well, this is supposed to be a break anyway. When it dies, it dies. Hmm, that was a good sleep. I feel a lot better now. Mm -hmm, someone texted me last night. Oh, 
Oh no, Takeshi, I totally forgot about him. Oh, why don't we tell him everything's fine? Because everything is fine. It's PG Keen. I should tell him I'm okay. He was probably worried about me. Hmm. No response. I guess I should get going. If he wants to write back, he will. I hope Takeshi doesn't think I'm rude. I wonder why Uncle never mentioned it before, though. Oh, a new mail. I hope it's him. Whew, I'm glad he's not mad at me. Ace Cafe? Sounds interesting. Man, that must be difficult for Uncle to always have to cross over the ferry any time he wants to buy something from town. I wonder why he chooses to live at the shrine anyway. He's only the caretaker, so he could live in town if he wanted to. I'm glad I can help him out a little bit at least. Takeshi mentioned a place called A's Cafe. It's getting kind of late, though. Maybe I should look for it some other day. You know what? There is no day like today. It's a small enough town, so it shouldn't be hard to find. Why can't I find the place? It's not even that late, but it got dark so quickly. This place feels kind of creepy when it's dark out. I hope he's still awake. Now that I think about it, I don't even know if he even lives in this area. He said he was here last year. I hope Uncle isn't too worried about me. I should be at the island by now. This is so weird. Why is this place so empty at night? Ugh, I'm starting to freak myself out. Calm down. Nothing is going to happen. Takeshi, please answer. Please. Why isn't he writing back? Oh, thank goodness. Could not be delivered of all the times. I hear something. What's that sound? It's kind of metallic. <gasps> He's still not answering. What's wrong with this thing? I don't know what that metallic sound is, but I definitely hear footsteps now. Someone's following me. I gotta get out of here. Best we can, huh? I don't feel as if there's anything I can do at all. I'm sure Mom's worried enough already, though. Ha! <laughs> like you have to tell me that. I've had enough paranoia for one trip, thank you. In fact, I don't think I really want to go out today at all. I'm sure Uncle wouldn't mind if I just hung around all day. Another text? Mom, it's not that big of a deal. Takeshi got my text after all. Figures. Of course anything that makes me look like an idiot will go through at an inopportune time. I feel like such a moron admitting this.
Could have been there. Does that mean he what? lives in town? All right, time to have a look around. Where should I go? Hmm. How's about let's go peek around the shrine. Let's see if we can find something awesome. It's nice here. Uncle really keeps everything clean and in order. Peaceful, too. No wonder he enjoys living here. Oh, this must be the entrance where the guests come in. There's a display with information about the shrine. There's a picture of Uncle here with someone I don't recognize. Is that Takeshi? Awkward? He looks fine to me. Did he really just say that? He's forward. I think my face is turning red. I hope Uncle doesn't see me. Yeek, I think that's him! Oh wow, did I really just run away from my own uncle? That is embarrassing. I hope he doesn't think anything weird is up. What did I do? It's not my fault I was so flustered. He's the one who said he liked me. Can't really tell him that, can I? He's persistent. Ah, uh, I need some time to think. Whew. I doubt he believes me, but at least now I have some time to calm down. Why am I even this embarrassed? I barely even know Takeshi, and it's not like he confessed his undying love for me. I guess I was just kind of caught by surprise. I'll talk to him later after I can think more clearly. For now, I think I'll just rest. Should we leave the phone on or off? Hmm. You know what? In case we get, I don't know, some kind of weird static from the phone. Just in case. Why don't we leave it on? Yeah. I'm going to take a nap. Maybe that'll clear my mind. Mmm. That was just what I needed. Oops. Did I really sleep that long? Nighttime already. I hope Uncle went ahead and had dinner without me. I wonder if he tried to wake me up. Hmm. <laughs> Probably not. I doubt he even remembers that I'm here. He really seems like he's out of it, like he's not even sure of who he is right now. I hope he's doing okay. Mom mentioned that his health was failing, but I didn't think it would be this bad. Well, I should probably go back to sleep. If I don't, I won't be able to wake up at a proper time. Although it's kind of difficult to head back to sleep immediately with the rest I got. Maybe I should wander around for a bit to tire myself out. Should we go back to sleep, or should we wander around? No, well, she just said she can't go back to sleep, so let's go wander around. I'll never be able to get back to sleep like this. I'd better go wander around. Wow, this island is beautiful at night as well. Oh, I bet Uncle's asleep right now. Now is the perfect time to check out the pond. Hmm, so this is it. It's not so scary. 
I'll really have to be careful and watch my step, though. It's pretty slippery on this path. I should probably head back. If Uncle finds me now, I'm going to be in trouble. I'm glad I got to see the pond, at least. My curiosity is satisfied. Mmm, such a nice morning. I wonder if I got any messages last night. Oh, right. Battery's dead. Well, I guess that's that. I'm spending the rest of the week without a phone. Ending one. Dead phone. And there you have it, everyone. <laughs> Stay tuned for some more episodes of Text, the Summer Story. After all, we have many more scenarios to go through, don't you know? So, uh, happy gaming, happy reading, and see you then. Bye-bye!